gone in Canada around four o'clock. I spoke to my younger brother I'm around seven, and that was the last conversation I ever had. Um, the next morning, the phone call I did have was the call that he had passed away from a heart attack. He was only 36 years old. He told me actually uh, in the morning before he went to work and um, that he had the pains and stuff. It was just a pain in the center of my chest, a crushing pain, almost uh, like someone sitting on your chest. When I found out that it was actually a heart attack, it was, it was really frightening because I never expected that because he's strong, he's, he's always, you know, the rock for everybody in the house. <laughs> I mean, all I can say is once I got to these doors and I, that lady at the front, um, I told her I had a pain in my chest and, and whatever, it took less than five minutes before I was strapped up and on a, you know, on a, being tested. I remember getting in the back there and when the doctor came to me and he told me, I almost felt like I had another heart attack because he said your blood level was this, your, you know, your symptoms were this, your age, your background, you know, you fit right into a typical case would be and we're not letting you go anywhere. At Osler we see more and more people like Garvin coming in with heart disease or heart attacks in their 40s and sometimes in their 30s. This is particularly true about the South Asian community. At Osler, we perform about 2,000 angioplasties per year and about 4,500 heart procedures. While I was on the table, I believe I remember hearing the doctor say, you've got some blockages, we're gonna take care of it right away and um, we're gonna stent you and whatever. So it's kind of in and out, I, I think. I, I, I remember talking to him a little bit. 90% of our procedures through the wrist, there's less pain and less discomfort for patients. The procedure is short. It just changed everything in our lives. Was, you know, we just trying to just make him happier and he's scared, you know, he's just very careful with everything that he does now. And so are the kids and we're trying to get them as well to make that lifestyle change with us. Me and my wife, having done what we were supposed to do and we plan set out to do for the kids, being healthy enough and being around to then enjoy what we spent the last 25 years, 30 years doing. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the end game. Medicine changes every day. In order to keep up with the quality of care, we really require the best equipment. It's important if the community knows that and then you know, people, even people like myself, can understand when we see a fundraiser or if we have a couple extra bucks that we just pass it on. I'm not happy that my brother is not here, but um, it, it, it kind of leads to that had my brother had the same care that I received at Osla, he would still be here today.